Hey YouTube, wanted to make another wallet video. So here we have the OpenSea or Dasofine gun deck. So it's a wallet that's got um, I think a good amount of videos out in the YouTube world, so I'm sure many people are already familiar with it. Um, but this actually came about after my Hobay experience. So I did the, my, my first one was a Hobay. I liked it so much that I wanted to check out the gun deck. So that's what we have here. Um, I went with the all blue just to kind of switch things up. And I got, gosh, I can't remember what color. So I think it's a gold, I think is what it was called. But so it's kind of a blue, um, brown kind of combo. Um, thought that looked pretty cool. So first impressions, I mean, it's, you know, very obviously similar to the whole bay, just you know, orientation is different. You take it from a kind of a vertical to a kind of a horizontal setup. And I've also kind of noticed right away that it is a little bigger than I thought it would be. It's actually, you know, bigger than the whole bay, which I'm kind of a little disappointed in because, you know, definitely don't need bigger. Um, so it is a, a little bit, a little bit longer, but a little bit narrower. So I guess maybe that's a trade-off, but first impression of it, I think it is a little, almost too big, because if you look, if you put a card in there, I mean, there's just a lot of room in here. It makes it look, so see if you see, the card takes up that much space, that it's a little, so if I put it on this side, you can kind of see how much extra room is left on this side, and then if I put all the cards kind of to the bottom, you can kind of still see how much, I mean, you can't even, you just, I think, I mean, there's just a lot of room to spare, which I, I, guess, I guess it depends on who the end user is. You know, I'm more of a minimalist, so I don't, I'm not going to need all, all that room. I actually kind of got this hoping it would be smaller than that is why I want to check out the gun deck to see if I can go a little bit smaller is to kind of, to have like what I call my kind of mini weekend wallet so I, I did a review on the Krabby wallet which is kind of what I call my like you know mini wallet that I'll take out like if I'm just going out I just throw a card or two and a couple of little cash in there just to kind of go out for a specific purpose not like an everyday kind of carry and I had got this to kind of fit that fit that need so I actually was hoping to actually be smaller but it is about the same size or a tad bigger I mean this thing can hold a lot of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we have 10 cards. Look at that, I mean, that goes in there with pretty ease. So that's 10 cards in the back. And if we put four more in the uh, front pocket, Maybe you might not fit four more, right? so maybe yeah. So it's yeah, it's not going in there. So let's try to take one out. So three. So we got ten in the back, three in the front. So it's, I mean, it's obviously it, it can hold a lot of stuff, which to some that's a plus. For me, you know, I'll never carry this many cards. So for me, it's a little bit of a, you know. A, I don't want to say disappointment, but it's obviously not what I had hoped it was. So it's not a, not a, a knock against the wallet. It's just me not knowing what I'm ordering is kind of what it comes down to. Um, so it is a little on the, so, the, so again, if you're looking for a minimalist wallet, this is probably not it. But if you're looking for more, if you're kind of a heavy card carrier, this is, this would be perfect. So, you know, money goes in there. You know, I, I, probably carry about five cards you know maybe something one to front here I mean this would be something I would be set up with so but yeah overall I mean I love the color by the way I think this is gonna look awesome you know in, in due time so I'm kind of glad I went with this blue usability so I'm just trying to kind of picture at the store one out cards yeah, I mean, I think, no, I think it's about, you know, I don't think from a use standpoint, I don't see any 
just want to see which one be easier, easier to use. And like I said, I think these are really, really um, identical, for lack of better words, in terms of if you got the whole bay, uh, which is you know, they get the rear po get the extra pocket, or the top cider, which is kind of more similar to this, or you got the gun deck or the uh, Nimitz, I think it's called. And the Nimitz is kind of one of these where it's got the extra layer of leather, so you get the rear pocket and you get the extra pocket inside. But again, I got this to be a little bit more minimal, which is why I didn't go with the Nimitz. I wanted to just to kind of have a very much, much more minimal wallet. But, but yeah, it's actually, I mean, I guess dimension wise, it's longer but narrower. So really, you can kind of say it's a tie in terms of overall size between the whole bay. Uh, but yeah, obviously, I mean, I like it. And I'm just trying to kind of visualize using this at the store, which one, which one would be easier to use. And part of me thinks this one, because I think when you open it, you kind of have, you know, less material dangling. So it's easier to get kind of, might be a little easier to get through or pull out a card. Or this one. You know, I, find, I still find myself opening it this way sometimes, and just like a little extra, you know, you get a longer, you know, a little bit more hanging out there. But again, I'm just nitpicking. Overall, honestly, these are, for lack of better words, almost it's the same kind of thing. It just open up, open to the side. Same thing for Mac, for lack of better words. So yeah. So I don't have a, a whole lot more to say about this wallet. Otherwise, you know, it is a good wallet. It is, I would classify this more as kind of a, a larger wallet. No, I wouldn't say it's a minimalist wallet. I think to be minimalist, I just need to be a little bit smaller. I think there's a little extra, there's just, I think minimalist is five cards or less. So again, when I put five in here, you just, you can just see kind of you have that extra amount of space here that just adds to the bulk of the wallet and then even the depth when I put them in you can kind of see how deep I mean I almost wish it stopped right here and you know there's still a lot of room down here but then I suppose the money might not fit yeah maybe that's I mean, that's the issue so let's just see how far the bill goes down yeah but even the bill goes down if you look you know it goes down I mean, you still have, you know, I would say the, the bend is right about here. So you still have, you still have space for, for bills. I mean, you, the bill could come up to here, you know, up to here and still close fine. So, yeah, so I think it is a little, at least for my taste, uh, it is a little bit too big, you know. So just know that if you're looking for kind of a, of a small as small as you can go kind of wallet just for the bare essentials this is going to be kind of what i would classify more as like a normal full-size wallet if i want to say but it's not a kind of not in this kind of class where it's just kind of the bare minimum of a few cards and a little bit of cash type of wallet so yeah so i will switch from the whole bay to the gun deck and carry around for a few weeks just to see um, how it does you know one thing I'm kind of looking out for um, in my whole bay video what I pointed out is that this leather was actually a little too wide and you couldn't quite get a you know a, kind of a straight close because it would kind of bulge out like like that a little bit because the stitching was in the way so it kind of was a little bit uneven here and here so I actually had to do a little trim work here just to get this to close where it's kind of straight here and straight here. So that was the first thing I kind of looked at right away is to see how this one is. And I think this one is okay. Like I'm looking at it right now and I can, yeah, this one I think is okay. Yeah. One thing that helps is that this one is actually already cut in where I guess that one is a little bit too. I was trying to see if it, yeah, this one does taper in a little bit. So it tapers in, but it's still straight. So it kind of gives you an idea how, yeah, because even if, even if a taper, it was still kind of like that. So yeah, that's why I had to cut that. But this one looks like it does close kind of uniformly where it's, you know, 
straight here, straight here. So again, it's just my OCD kicking in. I just like the things be, you know, neat and orderly, and I like kind of like you know when things are a little askew. But this one actually looks okay. I, I'm not seeing that problem that I had with the whole bay in terms of closing. Yeah, because even if you look at a close, you can kind of see just or just this one actually has just around my clearance because right here I would say is the cutoff. So this one actually I think is just cut perfectly. I mean this one is right at the cusp. I think if this was any longer then you would have a little pressing up against the stitching uh, where it might be a little um, might be kind of ununiform when you close it. Like this one. So this is where I cut it but if you were to kind of follow this line and kind of see kind of what it, how it would have been. So here, this is how I close it. So if I line up a straight air line, you can kind of see right here is a good example. You see it's going, the holes right here. So it's actually covering up the stitch hole. So it made it almost impossible to kind of give it a uniform close. It, it, it had to be like, 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 like kind of like this almost. So yeah, you, so you can kind of see how it move this and kind of see how this end kind of came up a little bit. And then this side is what, this is what bothered me is how it kind of looked crooked here. So yeah, so this is why I actually trimmed this one down. But this one looks like the, the cut on this one was right on the money. So I mean, if I'm keeping it closed, you can kind of see just the right amount of space because you want maybe like, just maybe a millimeter or two of space between the hole to accommodate. So yeah, so this one is cut perfectly in my opinion. But yeah, gun deck. So thanks for watching. I will, like I said, post a file video in a few weeks once I've had a chance to actually carry this and use it at the store a few times and just see how easy and user-friendly it is in a kind of real uh, real situation all right guys thanks for watching